It's a very exciting day. Okay, so I have to wait for the windshield to finish drying off since there's so much condensation. That's on the inside, not the outside. So it's almost there, I can see. And I'm gonna go find a bathroom because that is always step one of the morning routine. sure when my next shower is going to be. My phone just died, so I am going off of memory and I'm hoping that this is the Planet Fitness that I've been to before. Need some breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Time to go lift. I'm not really stoked about this lift today, which is very unlike me, but I'm so excited. I don't, <laughs> I can't focus on my lift because I'm just waiting for the time to pass. But we're gonna go get it done anyways, because it needs to be done, so. creatine It's been so long since I've been to Planet Fitness. I've been a bit spoiled the past month.
Okay, so I just got done at Planet Fitness and heard from the people with the puppy. They're going to be at the Love's Travel Shop at 3.30, which is awesome because it gives me a little bit more time than I was expecting to have. But I think I am going to head down to Colorado Springs just because it's a bit cooler than Denver and that sounds appealing. <laughs> So it turns out there's a pet smart right up the road and it's on the way to get back to the interstate. So I am going to take a quick gander in there and see if I can't find some of the stuff that I need. The bowl selection is small. So I think we're striking out here. Let's see if we can find a collar at least. I have secured a leash and a collar. I debated between getting a small and a medium for far too long, but I decided on a small. I got distracted from the crates because we absolutely need some tennis balls. All the dogs that I've ever had have loved lamb chops. Okay, so I can't find a crate, so I guess we're getting a bed. It has escalated so fast. <laughs> Last up, treats. Let the games begin. <laughs> this dog is going to be so freaking spoiled. to Colorado Springs. This is a very twisty entrance ramp. Before I can pick up this puppy, we have to stop at pretty much every Sam's Club along the way until I can find the elusive Take Fair the Life exit. Shakes. Then keep left. Thank you. The Fair Life Shakes because I am addicted and they have been out of stock. Use the at, left lane to keep left. They've been out of stock at Costco for months, like since March. And so whenever I see them, I always have to stock up and it's kind of a pain to keep find left. them. nothing. Well, in lieu of the Fair Life Shakes, I got a bunch of sandwich making stuff because, again, I'm not sure how the whole puppy and store thing is going to go. I can't bring her into grocery stores for sure, but I want to just be as prepared as possible to get used to her for a week without needing to go anywhere. So I got some food. Well, that was slightly unfortunate, but very expected. I do have a high quality sandwich though. All right, so because we are persistent, we're going to try another Sam's Club. <laughs> Round two. I honestly feel less optimistic about finding Fair Life here because this is a college town. And I would assume there's a bunch of gym rats here. We'll give it a shot. I genuinely cannot believe that I found this.
always be persistent. In 800 feet, arrive at Walnut Supercenter. We're on the hunt for dog bowls. Fail. A swing and a miss on these dog bowls. I don't really know exactly what I want, but I know what I don't want. And I've been finding a lot of the things that I don't want, which are heavy bowls or breakable bowls. <laughs> so the search continues, but for now, I am going to head to the pickup location because it's showing me about an hour and a half away, which gives me 40 or so minutes to clean up the car before the pup gets here. And the car desperately needs it because this is the situation that it is in right now. And that's not gonna cut it. It is officially one hour until pupper time. Hey there, sweet thing. What's your thing, baby girl? What's your? Oh, we got a potty. Hi. Hey, Joe. What are you doing? Are you tired? Are you tired? Oh, we're munching. We got to munch on everything, don't we? Yes, we do. We're a hopper puppy. Hi, the babies. <laughs> Hi, babies. What's it yours? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I think it's a good thing I got the durable bed. You're noisy. Yes, you are. Here, get your ball. Get your ball. Look right here. Look right here. Get your ball. Yeah, that. Somebody has energy. Yes, you do. What do you think, sister? Okay. It's me and the baby. Yes, hello. Um, she's very cute and she loves to play with her lamb chop and her tennis ball. She's also very curious. She keeps trying to climb up onto the dash right there. So I'll probably have to make it so she can't do that. But um, yeah, she's, she's an adventurous one for sure. <laughs> but we're gonna get moving back to Colorado Springs to pick up some food for her. Okay, so I haven't even left the parking lot. I wanted to check the weather because it's looking a little stormy back the direction towards Colorado Springs. So I wanted to check it, make sure I wasn't going to drive into a big storm and check out the pupper. Passed out, lights out, nothing could phase this dog right now. It's thundering and lightning and she's just like, meh, okay. So the weather looks good this direction. A little rainy that way. And we are about to find out what we're gonna drive into. So I am not even two miles up the road. So we're gonna wait it out. So we made it about two miles down the road before we had to take refuge under a gas station because it started hailing on us. We are right here. This is Walsenburg, and we are right smack dab in the middle of all this. Which explains a lot. We are going to give this another go. It might be a little bit of a bad decision, but gotta keep moving. And I saw a window, and we're going to try and take that window since the weather is pretty unpredictable here. And I saw a bunch of other storms pop up just in the time that I refreshed it. So I don't think it's ever going to be good enough to where it's perfectly safe and easy passage, but it'll be good enough for us to get through and be able to see. So I can see the mountains again, which is a good sign. Babies. Oh, 
Not yet? Okay, well, we're going anyways. Dogs. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. So, unfortunately, the pet's barn that I just went into does not have a bigger bag of the food that I need. So, we are going to check a different pet's barn and see if we have any luck there. Also, Little Miss has woken up from her nap and she's entertaining herself. Quite effectively. I had a protein bar, Little Miss had her food, and we both got some water and now we're going to head a little bit closer to Denver. Yeah, we're gonna head to Denver or just outside so that we can start to make our way back towards the mountains. Yeah. She is a little Mally. You can tell she is. You are, you're a Malligator. And we're gonna try and keep her moving so that she sleeps. Yeah, we like sleepy puppies. Rawr. Good job. We made it. We made it. Are you tired? Are you tired? Oh, somebody's so tired. Somebody's so tired. Yeah, I know. Let's go parties. Let's go parties. <laughs> you can't lay down. <laughs> Why are you laying down? Did Puppers go potty? Yes, she did. Yay! Good job! Good job! Okay, so it is. It's 9 15, and we are trying to. We're gonna go to bed, aren't we? Maybe. We're gonna try. So, good night, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. Good girl. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Good girl. Good. Well, we successfully made it through our first night. The puppers slept about half of it, and then we ran around and played in the parking lot for the other half. So it was a pretty successful first day and first night. She loves to bark, which is really surprising because she's so young, and she is crazy about her food. So. She's a very hungry pupper, but we are going to make our way back into the mountains and see if we can't find some pretty places to go hang out. Little Miss is napping, so I'm going to drive. We'll see you guys in the next one.